Hey, what's up guys? Are you looking for a boat that can handle waves like this? <laughs> Look no further. Today, I'm gonna show you a beautiful 2008 270 Crownline Bow Rider. this video on my YouTube channel, which is Use Boats TV. The purpose of this channel is to make a lot of boat videos, whether it's showing boats I have for sale, taking you out and showing you how to drive boats, working on them, even fishing on the water. Anything to do with boats or boating here on this channel, we make videos for it. So do me a favor while you're here joining us, checking this out. Please consider subscribing by clicking down below, following it up with a click on that bell icon, then you'll be notified via email anytime we throw up something new. So once again, I'm gonna show you this boat that I have for sale here at Heartland Marine. See if it interests you. Thanks for joining us. Let's get started looking at it. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Let's get this started by doing the butt seat test. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. The butt seat test is where I get in the boat and show you how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. And this 270 Crown Line has a lot of room for butts. We got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seat here, call it seven, eight, nine. So you can easily put nine in the sole, which is your cockpit floor, coming into the bow. 10, 11, and it's long enough you can do 12, 13, 14. If you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, be sure to click down below in that subscription and I'll include a link to a video where I explain that. This boat is actually rated for as many people as you want because it's got certified. So I should have looked at that before I, whatever. Let's move on and look at the gel coat condition. Okay, let's take a hard look at the gel coat condition. So it just came in. We haven't detailed it yet, but it's got a beautiful shine to it. rub rails in great shape i've seen some very fine scuffs in the hole that we'll be able to uh, wet sand out the best we can Ooh, it looks a lot worse on the camera than it does with my own two eyes but whatever lightly oxidized up on the top cap here we'll be able to buff that all out very sharp deep v shines lifting strakes keel looks good stem looks good coming around the, coming around the tip of the bow to the starboard side, gel coat looks awesome once again. Haven't seen anything yet to point out. Just a beautiful, beautiful, sexy, freaking, studly, manly, whatever good term you want to use, friggin' awesome boat. this huge massive swim platform you got a transfer shower back here you got line storage underneath these boxes in the back see it's even on a gas assisted strut so you don't have to hold it open while you get out your lines giving way to an awesome center walk through transfer with u-shaped seating beautiful bolster seats i mean the interior condition of this kind of speaks for itself it's just really really great all the backrests are nice it's got cup holders everywhere it's pretty much designed for an alcoholic these seats hinge got life jackets but also in here there's place to put a cooler you can move those unscrew them screw them back in you just got to make sure it's not too tall that was to the port side here's the starboard and here we got a fire extinguisher and our dual batteries with a switch now will stay the starboard side so you have a nice little refreshment area with a sink and a built-in cooler it's a better dry storage box as it's being used in this application for we have storage with our original owner's manuals beneath the sink now these captain chairs do swivel and slide we have ski storage in between the captain yeah. chairs it's fully finished fiberglass down in there with a gas assisted strut big thick heavy fiberglass door yeah. so shut that so the seat goes down we have interior lights, place to plug your phone into the stereo, giving way to a beautiful helm. Now it's off-white with the carbon fiber appearance dash panels. 
So it's got a newer head unit in it. Again, only 305 hours. There's our trim tab controls. Port side has a cup holder and grab handle for bad drivers. Also has a bolster seat. Big, thick, heavy windshield frame. Now, one thing I love about this model too, look how big that windshield frame is. Like it comes all the way back, really adds to the appearance of the boat and the outside just looks very sleek. Even though it's tall, sharp, and deep, we got step-on covers, enclosed, just porta pot head, a little sink in there, and a window. Hey, you can also charge your phone in there. It's very important. So we got a wind block door. Block the wind on a cool, cold, windy day. We got storage to the starboard side above the helm with, oh great, bow filler cushions, a table, and the aft filler cushions. So this isn't missing any cushions. And Different boats have different things about them that are uniquely the same for every model they make. Like even a 192, a little 19 foot crown line has a huge bow. This 270 has a huge bow too. A lot of them don't have bow filler cushions and that's a feature that some people don't care about, but it seems to me like a lot of people do want and this does have them. I didn't watch, I should probably watch that in, but whatever. So this seat hinges also, you don't have to hold it up. Isn't that great? Giving away to nice deep storage. Even the seat bottoms are in good shape. <laughs> Up underneath the very bow center, little cooler area. Back to the depth of the bow. It's called freeboard, the interior depth. This has a ton of it. That's a nice anchor. That may not come with it, just kidding. But uh, interior depth, so it's draft. No, that's freeboard. So your kids can run up here and set, and it's very comfortable emotion for a mother because they're deep in the boat you get the point let's look at that engine we ran this boat when she came in and it runs amazing it has 305 hours it's well powered by a 350 mag mpi mer cruiser and a bravo 3 counter rotating propeller outdrive and she also has trim tabs also this tower is freaking awesome it's got the vivity built in there's your tow point right there beautiful shape it does collapse Nothing you want to do every single time you use it, but it is an option. I put this Bimini top on here, the canvas that is. It wasn't hard at all. Now let's talk about my assessment of this model. So my assessment of this model is pretty simple, really. It's 23 degree dead rice. It cuts through the water extremely smooth. I sold CRD for eight years. I've been selling news boats now for a little over 11. And when I quit selling new boats, selling used boats was very difficult because I had to sell all the different brands all the time. So when you sell new stuff, you get kind of brainwashed with it. And a 266 Crown Line is in fact the first boat that I ever drove that wasn't what I had sold new for eight years. And I thought, man, this thing rides really good. What a 270 Crown Line is, is an approved 266. So I hold the 266 Crown Line like up here in terms of appreciation. The 270 is better than that. So it just really goes off camera. Well. Once again, my name is Brandon. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the water. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And if you call here, please ask for me. I've got kids to feed and people will say, hey, I love your videos. Then they don't ask for me and they buy something and... Models popping by.